Hello and welcome to my school morning routine with a newborn. So today I'm going to talk you through my school morning routine with three children who are five, two and two weeks old. The first thing I do is wake up at around 5am to feed my newborn baby. She is breastfed so I just scoop her out um, from the co-sleeper that she's in next to our bed and feed her. I then try and put her back down but she doesn't normally go down very well at this time of the morning and she's normally awake from 5 until my alarm goes off at 6.45. So until then we just have lots of cuddles, um, she's normally settled on my front but it does mean that I have to sit up until I get up. I get up at 6.45 and the first thing I do is to change Ada and I do this on our bed just for ease. I then try and settle her in the snooze pod just while I get ready. I head to the bathroom and I wash my face and clean my teeth and then proceed to do my makeup. This is where I do my makeup, a little cluttered I know and here is little Ada in her snooze pod with her sleepy head as well. She's very settled in there which means that I can get on and do my makeup. Maeve is watching the iPad on the bed whilst Daddy is still sleeping. What a luxury. I then sit and do my makeup as quickly as possible. This normally takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do. This morning I then had to head into my eldest daughter Rosie's bedroom. She is five years old and she is the one that attends school. She was actually still asleep this morning so I had to go in and wake her up, which is most unusual. They're normally all up before me. So I gently woke her and then I went to her wardrobe and got out her school uniform ready for her to get dressed in. I left her in her bedroom to get dressed while I headed back to my bedroom to finish off my makeup. I get dressed and do my hair. Today I am wearing these leather look leggings from Topshop and this jumper that I got from Primark for only £2 in the sale. My headband is from Boohoo. I then head into May's room to do her morning bedroom tidy. So I turn off her night lights, I draw her curtains and I make her bed. I then pick out her outfit for the day from her wardrobe. I decide what she's going to wear and I go and get her dressed. I make her bed. I always feel much better when this has been done. And then I headed into Rosie's room to check how she was getting on and to see whether she was dressed. As you can see, she wasn't. So I tell her to stop drawing and making pictures, which she's always doing. She loves to craft and I encourage her to get her school uniform on. Before heading back to my bedroom and helping to get Maeve dressed, I then clean her teeth, although this morning Daddy did it because Maeve insisted that he did. That's toddlers for you. By this time, Rosalie was then dressed so I could finish off doing her hair ready for school. I always spray it down with some head life repellent before putting it in a updo so she always has her hair up she either has plaits or ponytail plaits are my favorite because her hair is all nice and neat then and I drag back and no creepy crawlies can get in but I do sometimes let her have a ponytail because I know she does prefer it today she let me do a plait in her hair so here I am just plaiting her hair all ready for school clean Rosalie's teeth and luckily Ada has slept through all of this so I have been able to do everything that the girls need. Maeve also wanted her hair done today so I did a little ponytail on her and then when both girls are ready we head downstairs for breakfast. Rosalie is helping me by taking the washing down whilst I carry Ada down the stairs. 
I then deposit her in the Moses basket in the living room and normally she sleeps in here whilst I get the girls breakfast. Today she wasn't very happy in here so um, I took her into the kitchen with me and put her in her trip trap high chair and she was much happier in there seeing what was going on and watching the girls help me make breakfast. Right girls, what cereal do you want? I want this. Marshmallow mateys and what do you want? These. What one do you going for? What one? Oh, multi-grain crispies. Right, let's get the bowl down. Which bowl are you gonna have? Honey mouse? No, I was gonna have This one. Okay. Once the girls are settled eating their cereal in front of the telly, I make my own breakfast. They always want to eat some of my toast too, so I started doing an extra slice for them and they have half each, so two little squares of toast as well. They eat this as well as their cereal. And here are my beautiful girlies, all sitting nicely and eating their breakfast. I'm about to join them and eat mine. You eating your breakfast up, maybe? Good girl. Can you? Are you gone? What? Nearly all gone. I'm just giving Ada a quick feed before I go and take Gracie to school. Rosalie will put on her school shoes and her school coat. I am normally getting the other two girls ready, so I'll help Maeve get ready for the walk to school and I'll put Ada in her pram, but today I didn't have to because my friend popped over, so she watched the little girls whilst I took Rosalie to school. So it was just Rosalie and I on the walk to school this morning. So that's it, I've just dropped Rosalie off at school. It's a little bit different today because my friend popped over, so, um, I didn't have to take Maeve and Ada on the school run today. I just took Rosalie. Normally I would be taking both of those in the pram. So that made it a little bit easier, um, not having to take them all to school. What I normally do is leave them outside the classroom while I drop Rosalie off and do all her bits. Um, but I didn't need to do that today, so that was quite good. Um, so I'm just walking back to them now. Then we'll start the rest of our day. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how our school morning routine goes as a mum of three and a mum to a newborn. As you can see, she's such a good girl and pretty much as long as I feed her, she's fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just fitting it all in, but we're getting there. If you did enjoy this video, then please do subscribe to my channel and please do like it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.